Hey, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, what we're going to be doing is looking at Go For A Soda, the, the intro, the main riff uh, by Kim Mitchell. I've always loved this song, <laughs> and learning how to play it by ear for some reason was just a huge challenge for me, and then not only learning how to play it, but sing it at the same time. So I thought, what the heck, this would be kind of a fun one to look at. So um, I showed you how it went, and then I slowed it down a little bit, and now let's actually just dig into this and, and figure out how this goes. So the first thing we're going to do here... So we're starting off in F sharp, and it's more of a blues kind of thing, but we're going to be playing the second fret of the first and second strings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hammer on pull off, going to the fourth fret of the second string. So after I do that little hammer on pull off, I'm going to drop down to the third string fourth fret and play that note, and then back to those two notes. And then I'm going to play four, three, and four. Now, what I like to do is when I hit that four, then I do a little slide up so you can hear the slide. You don't have to do this. And then I get ready here. So right there, what I'm doing is I'm playing these two notes right here, which is part of a C-sharp chord, okay? So I'm playing those with my first finger on the third and fourth strings. And then I'm doing this. I'm doing a little hammer-on pull-off to the sixth fret of the fourth string. And then I'm heading down to the... Um, so I'm going up to the 8th fret, I should say. I'm sorry. So I'm on 6 here, going up to the 8th fret. Then up to the 9th fret on the 5th string with my pinky. And then right there, I've got this, the 6s again. Then I'm adding an 8 on the 4th string. And then a 9. Okay, so if I put those together, it's kind of weird. So I have... So one, two, three, four, one. Sometimes I do just a pull off. Sometimes I do a hammer on pull off. Just whatever works for you. Then I'm going to go up. Now I've got the nines and the fours. And that leads us into the end part. So once I do those, right there I do a pull off from six to four, down to that seven. And then I've got... So there I'm playing the fourth fret of the third string, going to the sixth fret of the fifth string, then back to that four, to the fourth fret of the fifth string, back to that four again, to the two of the fifth string, back to that four again, and then my F sharp. So I have... Now you got to figure out what fingering works best for you. Let me put that in perspective and see what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I have... So I play those fours with that finger and then move down. And then once I get to this second fret here, I, I use my pinky or my third finger. Most of the time I think my pinky. And then I go over to the octave. Sorry, F sharp, which is our root here. So I have... Okay, 
So it's kind of confusing. You just have to remember that you're not starting on the downbeat. You're going one, two, three, four, one. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 Right. So then it starts all over. But it's a lot of fun once you learn how to play it. So have fun. Uh, hopefully this is something that you can practice when you've got a little time. If you're into this song, again, go for a soda by Kim Mitchell. So take care. Do me a favor. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share the video, and I'll talk to you soon.